In the early 1850s, the Illuminati held a secret meeting in New York which was addressed by a British Illuminist named Wright. Those in attendance were told that the Illuminati was organizing to unite the nihilist and atheist groups with all other subversive groups into an international to be known as communists. That was when the word communist first came into being, and it was intended to be the supreme weapon and scare word to terrify the whole world and drive the terrorized peoples into the Illuminati One World Scheme. This scheme, communism, was to be used to enable the Illuminati to foment future wars and revolutions. Clinton Roosevelt, a direct ancestor of Franklin Roosevelt, Horace Greeley and Charles Dana, foremost newspaper publishers of that time, were appointed to head a committee to raise funds for the new venture. Of course, most of the funds were provided by the Rothschilds. And this fund was used to finance Karl Marx and Engels when they wrote Das Kapital and the Communist Manifesto in Soho, England. And this clearly reveals that communism is not a so-called ideology, but a secret weapon, a bogeyman word to serve the purpose of the Illuminati. Weishaupt died in 1830, but prior to his death he prepared a revised version of the age-old conspiracy, the Illuminati, which under various aliases was to organize, finance, direct, and control all international organizations and groups by working their agents into executive positions at the top. In the United States, we have Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, Jack Kennedy, Johnson, Rusk, McNamara, Fulbright, etc., as prime examples. In addition, while Karl Marx was writing the Communist Manifesto under the direction of one group of Illuminists, Professor Karl Ritter of Frankfurt University was writing the antithesis under direction of another group. The idea was that those who direct the overall conspiracy could use the differences in those two so-called ideologies to enable them to divide larger and larger members of the human race into opposing camps so that they could be armed and then brainwashed into fighting and destroying each other and particularly to destroy all political and religious institutions. 